Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden, and welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here today with Batman. Hello. Because it's Big Shipping Day, and he's the guy in charge of big shipping and facility maintenance stuff. And we have a whole pallet of stuff. Two pallets. There's, there's one hiding over there, but that's the next video. Yeah. This, is, this is from AFF, American Forge and Foundry. Yep. And they do, they do car stuff. Yeah. Like... Big way. Like the tools you see when you go to a place that would have a hoist, okay, that, that's the stuff they have. So we get to open this up. Let's do it. So let's open it up. You got to get out there. That nifty special tool you have. You mean this tool right here in my apron? That, that, see, that's why we have Batman in on this. Look at that. Like a professional. All right, so we've got two different things on here. We've got the engine crane and the, uh, the waste oil drain with pressurized evacuation. You want to start with that one Let's since it's just one, one box? Let's do this and we'll do this in the next video. Right. Okay? Because this is, this is one box. Ooh, chrome and nice. Now we've got some parts right up top. Looks like a one hell of a microphone boom. Okay, so we gotta take all the parts out. Nice and easy. <laughs> so this is for when you're when you're got a car on a hoist, as happens a lot around here, and you want to drain the oil out of it. It's basically a funnel on a really big stick with a cart. Dropping stuff. Don't break it. Man. Trying not to. Right. It doesn't sit level. <laughs> you gotta put the wheels on this we side. Gotta send it back now. <laughs> I think you need this. Yeah, probably. There you go. Hey, instructions. You're gonna want those. Because remember, this is made for legit car guys. Yeah. So get the instructions. Because if they put instructions on this, you probably need them. Oh, uh, I need a clip. Clip pliers or whatever they're called again. You need what? E clip pliers? No, they're not for E clip, for. Uh, C clips? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't think of the word there for a okay. second. Do you want to take a minute and go get stuff and we can come back? Do we can get properly we tooled up for this? Yeah, we'll get properly tooled All up right. for this. All right, we're back. Yep. We've got, you've, you've, you're got properly, you have accoutrements. I should. Okay, let's put it together. All right. You start on we'll the start, wheels? We'll start on the wheels. All right. I'm going to start with this. It really is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, there isn't, there isn't a lot to figure out here. Hey, mm. cut that. What, you don't have fancy cutting tools in your apron? <laughs> I don't think you need those for this. But <laughs> it's just what I had right there. It's what you have. <laughs> All right, so that's our evacuation hose. This is actually a really clever setup. I'm just going to leave that right there because that's a... Pretty much the perfect spot for it in use. Stop that's moving already, it. That's already all together. You've got your your pressure system and relief valve and your airline, so that's all that. <coughs> Just loosen these and I'll put the handle on. All right, no, no, this time let's not move it while I'm trying to put the high tension okay, spring. I totally to won't it. move it while you're trying to put the high tension spring on it. I'm just going to drop this right in here. Because if this thing goes flying, we're done for. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't lose it. We're probably going to need there. That. Are you happy? Yeah, I got even got the I got the Allen wrench that fits you. Tight nose down. That's set. They even they even give you a Teflon. They even give you a little bit of Teflon tape. That sure was nice of them. Yeah. Well, these two pieces are already together. I can stand up now. <laughs> you good? Is my wrench big enough, though? <laughs> you might need a bigger wrench. Valve works fine. I don't have a bigger wrench. That is a lot of wrench you got there. Yeah. All right, could you snug that down for me, please? Sure, I'll snug it down for you. All 
I'm going to Teflon this just because I have Teflon stuff, and why not? Oh, that one right up top, yeah. Here, hold that. I'll hold. Thank you. Got that. Now, this is not by any means a pressure connection because it's pretty much just gravity feed into the right. thing. But they gave us tape. It's a metal connection. We'll do it. Okay. Careful not to cross thread it. Hold on tight. You ready? Yep. Ah, that's in there. And then we just put this right here. Look at that. That's neat. So here's how it works. You lift this up. And oil drains from here down into here, okay? And when you're done, you close this. You put an air fitting on here, and the oil pumps out here. So you can put this, like, on your waste oil transport thing, mm -hmm. and, and the waste oil goes out, and then it's empty again. And this is, this is the easy way to, and you've got a nice big funnel, so you can yep. be working under a car on the hoist. Yeah. And just... Boom. So this is one of those things that a million people have seen. They're very familiar with. It's, it's, not, it's not rocket science. It's, it's basically a big jug, simple pressure vessel, and a funnel on a stick. Yep. But what this lets people do is not make a giant mess. Right. Because we have a lot of guys that are working on a car up in the air, and they're draining stuff out, and it has to fall six feet to the floor. So it, it's, it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. This solves that problem. Yay. So Yeah. So thank you to the cool guys at AFF for making this happen. This is the first piece from them in the new vehicular sciences lab, and this is available for member use starting tomorrow. Yeah. Really? It's, it's yeah. good to go. Okay. So you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Batman. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.